Many people rely on ClickUp for their project management needs due to its wide range of features, from team collaboration to personal task tracking. But ClickUp has so many use cases that people often loses their focus on managing their projects on ClickUp effectively. In that case, Rike might be a very good option. Rike is a powerful project management tool that many consider the best alternative to ClickUp. So in this video, and we're going to show you how Rike can help you manage your projects better and replace ClickUp. All right, before we dive deep into Rike, if you still have questions about what ClickUp actually does, go and check out our previous videos on ClickUp first. We cover software reviews and updates on a regular basis, so you're just one click away from staying updated. Now let's get back to the point. When you first open Rike, it's clear this platform is made for teams with big projects and a lot of moving pieces. The layout is very clean, not looking cluttered, so people will figure out the core features needed to manage their projects easily, like tasks, timelines, and custom reports. The menus let you dive into the details when you need to, and while it might feel a bit packed at first, it actually helps you move faster once you get used to it. Now, ClickUp definitely has a cooler look and tons of ways to tweak how things appear. But honestly, it felt a little too much. So many options, so many icons, it's good for the functionalities, but it started to feel like more of a distraction. Just look at the left navigation at both Rike and ClickUp. In ClickUp, there is a long list of features, but Rike hid them with just three dots. This kind of smart layout design made things easier for us, and in the end, that's what mattered. Now let's talk about how Rike handles workspace organization. It's got a pretty clean system that works really well for people that have to manage teams from a single place. Everything starts with what they call spaces, which is similar to ClickUp. You can set those up for different teams, departments, or major projects, whatever makes the most sense. Inside each space, you've got folders and projects, so everything is layered and easy to find. Now, ClickUp has its own version of this with spaces, folders, and lists but we found ClickUp more flexible, which some people like. The trade-off is that Rike's more consistent layout can be a lot easier to manage when you've got a ton of people working across different teams. ClickUp gets cluttered when you open multiple workspaces and folders. Since Rike is a project management tool, we have to take a close look at how it handles projects. It stands out in the project management space because of how thoroughly it handles planning, scheduling, and reporting. One of its strongest tools is the interactive Gantt chart. It lets you map out your entire project, showing task sequences, timelines, and how everything connects. You can move tasks around with drag and drop functionality, and when you shift a deadline, it automatically updates related tasks, which gives you a real-time view of what's affected. Rike also comes with advanced portfolio management tools that are great when you're running several large projects. Its reporting lets you build customized dashboards and pull real-time data to track performance and see how resources are being used. When compared to ClickUp, which also provides multiple layout options like Board, Calendar, and Gantt Views, the main difference is setup. ClickUp is flexible but needs more customization to get going. Rike, on the other hand, is ready to manage complex projects right from the start so you can save a lot of your time. So when you're using Rike to manage your tasks, things feel a lot more organized. You've got everything laid out, due dates, priorities, custom fields, and even task dependencies. That's why it's easy to break things down into subtasks and you can sort them in whatever way fits your workflow. One thing that really helps is how Rike keeps a record of every update, so everyone knows what's happening and when. ClickUp does give you a lot of the same features until you get overwhelmed with a lot of features. Though having more options makes sense to organize your tasks the way you want. What we've seen so far is Rike leans toward a cleaner, more user-friendly setup. If your team likes to keep tasks simple and clear, that's where Rike really stands tall.
Reich has been steadily weaving AI into the way it handles projects, and not in a flashy way, but in a way that actually solves problems. Their work intelligence tools are built to simplify complex workflows. They pull insights straight from your project data and catch potential issues early on. Let's say a task falls behind. Reich notices and lets the right people know. It can also build detailed reports without anyone having to dig through numbers. For large companies juggling a lot of work, having real-time, reliable data makes a huge difference. ClickUp's approach is a little different. Their AI, called ClickUp Brain, is more of a multi-tool. It helps with finding content, writing things like emails, creating tasks instantly, and giving advice on how to improve task quality. It's versatile, and in fact, more powerful than Reich, in our opinion. Reich aims to remove the routine overhead in big projects, while ClickUp leans into boosting productivity across smaller, varied tasks. Both have value. It just depends on what kind of help you need. So Reich has time tracking built right into how it handles resources. When you're working on a task, you can log your hours, fill in your timesheet, and compare what was planned with what actually got done. That info goes straight into dashboards and reports that help managers see how everyone's using their time. It's definitely reliable for managing projects, but it's not as detailed as some dedicated time tracking apps. ClickUp also has time tracking, and it's right there on the task cards. You can hit start, stop, or add time by hand, or even set an estimate for how long something should take. It works great for a lot of teams, though we notice that it doesn't offer the same depth in reporting as Reich. So, if you're looking for a bigger picture view across teams and projects, Reich's probably a better fit. As of now, we found that Reich has a lot of features that are already available in ClickUp for a long time. But what pushes Reich ahead is how well it plays with other software. We're talking about more than 400 apps here. Everything from Salesforce to Adobe Creative Cloud to Microsoft Teams. You also get decent customization, mainly for dashboards and reports, but it's done in a way that keeps things consistent. That's helpful if you're managing multiple teams or projects and want a unified setup. Now, if you're the kind of person who likes to tweak everything, ClickUp might be more your speed. You can change how tasks are shown, build your own dashboards, rework your workflows with Click Apps, and even mess around with the look of the whole interface. That freedom is great, but it can come with a learning curve. That's why we think Reich fits well for teams who need to plug into existing tools fast, while ClickUp is for people who like building out their workspace exactly how they want it. So it's time to speak our final words. Is it the best alternative to ClickUp? See, ClickUp actually serves a lot of purposes. Many people even use it for their CRM needs. That's why we have to answer this considering the use cases. If we just take project management into consideration, then Reich definitely is one of the best ClickUp alternatives out there. It gives almost the same features in a more organized manner. Although it costs more if you compare their every pricing plan side by side, that's not a big difference either. As long as you can afford the price, Reich is definitely worth checking out. If you've already been using Reich or ClickUp, then share your experience in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.